You can look at a picture and I can take a picture and I send it to people, I put it on Facebook, but it is nothing like having your feet on that grass. Unless you're here and you can see the sun shining on the cliffs over there and smelling the flowers and hearing the water and hearing the birds, you can smell the trees, you can smell the dirt when you plow it. It is awesome. It is truly awesome. Come down 70 out of out of Dickens, heading towards Spur, and then finally get to my road. And as I go down there, you're kind of going, man, what am I gonna see when I get there? You know? It's it's very peaceful. That's a good time when you roll into here, but I'll tell you what the best time is. Man, as that sun starts going down, the turkey have since left and they're going to roost. Occasionally you'll see deer, maybe a storm out in the way, but the way the sun as it goes down and, and hits those hills over there, and then that transitioned into generally building a fire out by the fire pit, and the stars start coming out. Those are the things I bought the ranch for. When I'm at the office, lots of times I'm working on deals, and it, it's kind of the same thing every day. You, you got a pasture out there and it's, it's grown up high and it's got mesquite trees on it. You go out there with the tractor, you go out there with the dozer or whatever. At the end of that day, you can see the finished product. There was nothing here. And now there's a house and there's a fence and there's cows and there's containers and I own a tractor. You know, all those things, so that's fun. I'm blessed for the fact that I've got mule deer and whitetail, I have turkey and I have quail. Since we've had this place, we've had turkey from this place for Thanksgiving. And there's something neat about that. You know, I've always been a hunter. I have felt the responsibility on leases to take care of nature. Well, that even takes another level when you own a place. I'd met Charlie through acquaintances previously. Just, you know, Lubbock's a small big town, so you kind of know everybody. And he had a good reputation, his family has, because that company's been around a long time. You know, when you're buying something like that, whether it be your house or a ranch, it's a big purchase. I didn't know about fences. I was talking about deer feeders. You know, I knew some from leases, but he helped me. He held my hand. I hate to say that, and I don't even know if I want to tell him that, but he kind of held my hand. He answered my questions. I trusted him. If you talk to anybody that's even has a deer lease, or maybe they go to Rio Dosa, maybe they go to, to the lake, you know, I've seen all that, I, I, and I enjoy that. But I don't know, there's something about being out here by myself. At the end of the day, I own this place. There's nothing like ownership. There is absolutely nothing like ownership. And I, I thought I might have buyer's remorse. I, there hasn't been a day, not one day, that I've had buyer's remorse on buying this place.